Sesi Probando, probando Can you guys see me okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tomen asiento en este momento. Please have a seat. Please have a seat. Estamos aquí en esta tarde. We are here gathered today, this afternoon, to witness Harry. Smith and Dulce Segura unite their lives. Estamos aquí unidos en esta hora para conmemorar la boda de Harry Smith y Dulce Segura. Esto es algo muy especial. This is something very special that has to happen between a man and a woman. Esto tiene que pasar y es muy especial. Que tiene que pasar con un hombre y una mujer voy a estar hablando ahora como ministro del Señor si me lo permiten I, I will be speaking as a minister of God if you guys permit it is that okay with you guys? ¿está bien? All right, all right. yo creo, I believe that matrimony is something sacred creo que el matrimonio es algo sagrado I believe that matrimony is a gift from God to our lives. Creo que el matrimonio es un regalo de Dios para nuestras vidas. Donde un hombre y una mujer, where a man and one woman, se unen, unen sus vidas para salir adelante. To build a future together. And at this hour, we are witnessing Harry and Dulce unite their lives. Estamos viendo a Harry y a Dulce unir sus vidas para vivir juntos en el santo estado de matrimonio. To live your life in the covenant of matrimony. Si el matrimonio no es nada más una firma en papel. Matrimony and marriage is not just a signature on a piece of paper where you can put it on the wall and make it look pretty. El matrimonio no es un pedazo de papel donde se pega en una pared para mirarse bonito. Yo creo, I believe, que el matrimonio es un pacto. Matrimony is a covenant. It's much more than a piece of paper. It's much more than you look hot, baby. It's much more than we met in such place and I was attracted to you. Es mucho más que mira que bonita estás o que guapo estás, Harry. Look how beautiful, how handsome Harry is. <laughs> See, it's a covenant. Dulce, Harry, you guys are uniting your lives today. It's going to be a covenant where only you and her live and bond together. Do you know what I'm saying? ¿Me entiende lo que estoy diciendo? Donde usted, Dulce, y Harry, que va a ser su esposo en media hora, in about 15, 20 minutes, he'll be your husband. Si une sus vidas para siempre, para vivir juntos en el santo estado del matrimonio. I'm going to give you three laws in matrimony that I think have helped me because they were given to me as well. Voy a dar tres leyes que creo que son necesarias dentro del matrimonio. I believe they're crucial to live in peace with one another. The first law, and please look at me, don't, don't forget about forget about that noise back there. La primer ley, first law, es la ley del respeto. The law of respect. I believe that there should be respect between you and her. De, de tu parte, Dulce y él, deben de respetarse dentro del matrimonio. La mayoría de las veces, most of the divorces that we have had in the United States in the last five years, 
which is 65%, 65% de los matrimonios que se juntan en los primeros cinco años, el 65% se divorcian. See, in the first five years, the people that promise to love one another divorce themselves. And uh, what is that? I mean, it's, it's alarming to know. It's alarmante saber que 65% of the people that promise love to love one another forever end up divorcing. I believe it's because there was never or there is no respect. No hubo respeto dentro del matrimonio. See, as a minister of God, the Bible states that you, do, Dulce, have to respect your husband. Dulce, la Biblia dice que usted tiene que respetar a su marido. See, the Bible calls the women to respect the husband as the man of the house. Y él, desde este día en adelante, from this day on, él va a ser el dueño de su casa. He will be the man of the house. He is the only man that you have to respect that you have to give all your respect to. El único hombre desde este día en adelante que debe de, ama, de amar y respetar está de acuerdo conmigo. Segundo punto y segunda ley, second law, is the law of communication. La ley de la comunicación. I believe, as I have learned, como yo he aprendido, that communicating with your wife Harry, it's very important. Comunicándose con, comunicándonos con nuestras esposas es sumamente importante para tener un matrimonio sano. See, communication is good for the home. Now, something we men, as men, and I mean, any woman out there can say amen to that. Men do not like to communicate. Are you guys in agreement with that? Women? Mujeres, ¿están de acuerdo conmigo? Están diciendo que sí. Al hombre no le gusta comunicarse. Men do not like to talk so much. She, our wives like to do this. And fast a whole lot throughout the day. Y nosotros los hombres, and us men, just a couple of words at a time, and it's more than enough for us. But... We have to learn to communicate, Harry, to have a peaceful home. And you have to communicate about everything. Tenemos que comunicarnos de todo. Va a haber momentos donde Dulce va a venir un hombre y la que va a querer volar. Usted necesita comunicarle a Harry lo que está pasando. Si hay algo dentro del lugar que le estorba, necesita comunicarle a su esposo lo que está pasando. There's going to be times when a pretty lady, a honey, can come to Harry and say, Oh, Harry, you know what? You look so beautiful. But this is the time that you have to communicate and never, never lie to your wife. Are you guys in agreement with that? The women? Nunca le mintamos a nuestras mujeres. I have learned that the hard way. But for 13 years, I'm still with the same woman, happily. 13 años con la misma mujer, he aprendido muchas cosas. La tercera ley que quiero darles, the third law, in, in, in the marriage, in the bond, in the covenant, en el, en el pacto de ustedes dos, of you, Harry, and Dulce. Es la ley del amor. The law of love. Mm. So crucial, so important. The Bible states that, Dulce, you have to respect your husband. But Harry, the Bible calls on us men to love our women. Now why is that? I have learned in my years of marriage that we as men sometimes say I love you 
or that we love our women, our wives, from here, out. He visto en, en mi matrimonio que muchas veces los hombres le dicen a su mujer, te amamos, de la boca para afuera. See, and what we have to do in marriage, what you have to do in marriage, is Harry, you have to say that you love this woman from here out. You have to love this woman and this woman only. There will be no other woman for you. And that is the covenant that we're, that in about three, four minutes, we're gonna say our votes to. See, you have to love, not from here out, but from the heart out. En nuestras familias latinas, vemos como hay hogares destruidos. In the Hispanic culture, there's a lot of homes destroyed because there was no love in the home. No había amor en el hogar. Por caso tenemos drogadictos, we have drug addicts, we have gangsters, we have uh, people in jail. Why? Because the home and the, the bonding between you two is what makes the nation great. The matrimony is the backbone of the country. If you have, if you guys as, as partners have a healthy marriage, your kids are going to grow up to be healthy minded. They're never going to be thinking dad and mom are, are divorcing. Ellos van a estar en sus escuelas, nuestros niños, seguros de que papá y mamá se aman. De que papá y mamá nunca se van a dejar y que hay algo seguro. Porque el matrimonio, mis amigos, es el fundamento de esta nación. So, Harry, please, with all your heart, love Dulce and between you two. Que habrá perdón dentro de ustedes dos. Forgive is love. Perdonar, sí, es amor. ¿Están de acuerdo conmigo? Are you okay with me, Harry? All right. Are you guys okay with me? All right. Lo voy a pedir que se pongan de pie. Please stand up. En, uh, por favor, varón. ¿Puedes retirar las sillas para atrás, poquito? I'm going to ask you to look at each other. Voy a pedirles que se miren. Enjoy each other. Harry, that is your wife. And nobody else's. Dulce, él es su amado. Él es su... Príncipe Azul, él es su rey del hogar, él es Harry, mire su belleza, look, at it. look, look how beautiful she is. I'm going to do something special today, before we move on, I'm going to ask um, Dulce and Harry to say the votes to one another before I proceed. Is that okay? I will give you the mic and I'll let you start, Harry. Dulce, from this day forward, I promise you these things. I will laugh with you every day and I will be with you in times of sorrow too. I will share with you in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with that same compassion. I will help you when you need it and I will step aside when you don't. I will remain faithful to you for better or for worse. In times of sickness and health, you are the best part of my life. Dulce and I will love you and respect you always. Forgive me. Dulce, desde hoy en el Adelante, te prometo esto. Voy a reír con vosotros todos los días 
y el confort que en tiempos de dolor también. Voy a compartir en sus sueños y el apoyo que en su esfuerzo por alcanzar sus metas. Yo te escucharé con compasión y comprensión y hablo con ánimo. Yo te ayudo cuando lo necesita y a irse a un lado cuando no. Voy a seguir siendo fiel a ti para bien o para mal en tiempos de enfermedad y salud. Tú es la mejor parte de mi vida de dulce y voy a amar a respetar siempre. for somebody who loved me like you do. Night by night. One year ago, he worked very hard and put you on my way. My heart was ready for you. But he didn't do it very easy for me. I didn't speak English. I was in a different country. And I loved my job. <laughs> But that didn't stop me. You told me every day that when the love is true, nothing matters. Now, every night, I say thank, thank you, God, for giving me the best man ever. So I'm here, and I beg you, as my husband, to love you and share all my life and my dreams with you. I love you, Harry Smith. <laughs> okay. Spanish. Por mucho tiempo, Recé y recé y le pedí a Dios que me mandara una persona que me amara como tú. Hace un año, trabajó, Dios trabajó muy duro y te puso en mi camino. Porque mi corazón estaba listo para ti. Pero Él no lo hizo muy fácil. Porque pues, yo no hablaba inglés, estaba en México y me encantaba mi trabajo. Pero eso no me detuvo porque tú me enseñaste día a día que cuando el amor es verdadero, nada importa. Ahora le doy gracias a Dios día a día por darme el mejor hombre del mundo. So, así que te tomo como mi esposo para compartir mis sueños y mi vida contigo. Te amo. Están tus papás aquí. Are your parents here? Voy a pedirle que pasen al frente, por favor. I'm going to ask uh, your mom to come forward. And I'm going to ask them to uh, give you a hug because you will no, no longer belong to them. You will belong to her. Por favor, despídanse de ella, que es la última vez que será Hija, sino ahora será esposa. Denle un abrazo, felicítenla por favor en este momento. Please give him a hug and just wish him well that he no longer belongs to you. He belongs to her. She said, take care of her. <laughs> Please have a seat. Tomen asiento, muchas gracias. Me prestan los lazos, por favor. Por favor, los lazos. Me los presta, por favor, antes de ponerlo. Pásale para acá. ¿va? This is Aaron Tequino, Bates. Lo, los tira, por favor. Los tira, los tiran los dos. Y para que lo vea el público. This has a lot of meaning in our culture. Esto tiene mucho significado en nuestra cultura. This means Harry. 
and to all your guests that this was put on in our culture in ox, the OX, ox. And they would put them on so they can work together as, as, they, as, as they were doing their work, their duties. Um, and, am I explaining myself what an ox is? You, you put them on an ox, huh? We're going to put this on you because from this day on, both of you guys are going to work together for the betterment. Esto significa la unión, the union, que nadie más, nobody else would be inside of the ropes, the lazo. This has a lot of meaning, a very powerful meaning. Por favor, pónganselos, please put them on. Parados, por favor. La cruz al frente, por favor. Harry, nobody else for you. Nadie más para usted, dulce. Nada más ellos dos caben ahí. Only two people fit in the ropes. Nobody else fits in there. So, both of you, ustedes dos, nadie más, okay? I want to make that clear. Nobody else between the union that you guys are forming, the que están uniendo. Lo que sigue, por favor, las jarras. Por favor, préstemelo poquito, señora. Muchas gracias. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a very special part. This is money. Okay? I got like $10,000. This is money. Dinero. Money is to be shared as one. Whatever you make, Dulce, whatever you make, is so both of you can delight on it. Para que los dos se gocen del dinero. You guys hear that? Money is no longer yours alone. Money is both of yours. El dinero es de los dos. Que no haya tacañez, no haya nada que les oculte. This is to be shared between both of you guys. Whether you make 30,000, whether you make a million dollars a year, it's to be shared between both of you. Now, I'm going to give you the money. You are the money maker in the home. That's why you have the money. You have all those coins. But now, you are going to share half with Dulce. 50,000 right there. It's both of yours. Okay? Thank you, señor. Both of yours. El dinero será de los dos. Mom, are you hearing that? Baron, ¿está escuchando eso? So if you, if you ever see him fighting about money, please, déjele saber. Una recañadita. Una exhortación. Okay? It's both of your glasses. I'm going to pray for you at this moment. Please close your eyes. Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Pido, Señor, que tengan una unión sólida. I pray, Father, that they have a solid union. Let no one come between their marriage. I pray the blessing of the heavens over them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. ¿Tienen los anillos? Do you have the rings? Can I get the big ring first? Yours. Harry, Dulce, 
el anillo es más que un anillo, es un pacto. It's the covenant that you will both share together. In the old days, this was only given to people with authority. Esto solo se daba gente con autoridad. Pero en nuestros tiempos, but in our times, we use it so we can be united as one. This unites you both. Never take it off. Nunca se lo quite. Aun cuando se estén bañando, even when you're taking a shower, don't take it off. This is, does something special. It keeps away all the bad ladies in your life. Y todos los sopilotes que quieran acercarse a usted. All right? If somebody wants to get close to you, uh-uh. Look, because now you're in a covenant. It's not just a piece of paper. It's a covenant. ¿Me entendiste, dude? Did you understand? Please, hold that. Retengale, por favor, el ramo. Do you got yours? Hold it. I want you to look at each other again. Harry, I'm going to start with you. you. You are going to repeat with me, but you're only going to say to her and nobody else. All right? With this ring, symbol of our love, I enter in this covenant with you to be faithful. I promise fidelity and friendship. Today I give you the keys of my heart. You will be the only woman for me from this day on. Please put the ring on her. Repita conmigo, por favor, dulce. Con este anillo, símbolo de nuestro amor, hoy entro en pacto contigo para hacerte leal, para hacerte fiel. Prometo fidelidad y compañerismo. Hoy te entrego las llaves de mi corazón. Tú serás la única persona para mí, mi único amado, mi único güerito, para mí, desde este día en adelante. Por favor, selle lo que ha dicho poniendo el anillo sobre su dedo. Please take hands once again. Tomen mano. Mire a su gringo, por favor. <laughs> Harry, please repeat with me. I, Harry Smith, please repeat it to her only, okay? Take you, Dulce Segura, to be my wife from this day on. I promise to give you all my friendship, all my love, as long as I live, I promise to be with you in poor and in rich, in good times and in bad. I promise to love you and only you, nobody else, from this day on until death do us part. Por favor, repita conmigo, repítaselo a él y a nadie más. Yo, dulce segura, te tomo a ti, Harry Smith, para que seas mi amado esposo desde este día en adelante. Prometo darte toda mi amistad, prometo darte todo mi cariño, 
y todo mi respeto todos los días de mi vida prometo estar contigo en riqueza o en pobreza en salud o en enfermedad prometo serte fiel mi gringo mi Harry todos los días de mi vida hasta que la muerte y solo la muerte no se pare mírense a los ojos uh, husband and wife en este momento es marido y mujer hasta que la muerte los separe por favor dele un beso a su marido Nobody else. There's nobody else for you, Dulce. Harry, there's nobody else for you. If one day we see each other and we're out, I want to see you guys together. Okay? Nobody else. Don't let no one get between you guys. If not, I'm going to call your mama. All right. Congratulations. Denle un aplauso, please.